Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we have for you a Gigabyte RTX 3080. Um, there was no note that came with this, so we don't actually know what problem it has. Uh, we've done a quick physical inspection for cracks, which are normal on these cards, it's right in the corner here. We can't see anything by eye. We we're going to run a few tests, make a few measurements, and we'll try to do that on video so you can see what we're doing. Okay. Let's try and get this so you can see what we're looking at. Okay, first we want to do is check the first data pair, which is good. That's good. We're going to turn the card over and check the ref clock plus or minus, which is good and good. Okay. Uh, just a quick check for shorts. Nothing. Nothing. Four volts. Nothing. Nothing. So we have no shorts. I think we can reach a memory rail. Yep. 66 ohms. Memory rail looks good. Uh, let's see if we can reach anything else. 1.8 volts is good. 5 volts definitely good. Yep. Okay. So from what I can see, I'm going to assume it has a memory problem. So we're going to open the card up now and we'll inspect the PCB, see for any physical damage and what condition the, the rest of the card's in. Here's our card stripped down. We're gonna once again take a few measurements and just double check that everything is good on this side. So in resistance mode, checking from the fuses. Which is good. Checking the other one. Which is also good. Checking five volts, 238 ohms. That looks suspiciously low to me. And this should be 1.8 volts, perfectly normal. Pecs, perfectly normal. We've already checked the memory, which is perfectly normal and 3.3 volts which is perfectly normal okay so we're we gonna plug the card into our riser now and we'll power it on and let's see what voltages we have right so we did a voltage check all the voltages are normal including that 5 volt rail which was suspicious uh, it's not something that fails often so it's not something we commonly check okay so we've just run the memory test um According to one of our tests, it's showing multiple modules in failure. The other test is showing us that A0 is in failure. So what we're going to do, we start with A0. And we'll remove that, inspect the pads. If everything is good, we'll replace the module. Then see if the tests are still showing the same results. It's not a single day that passes without you on my mind Not even one minute can end up before you come around I hurt for the days when I see your face here before me I hope for the times you will me in your arms Whoa. I wish that you were here to give me everything I want But I know that life's unfair and we can't
right so our cards back on the table now we've replaced this module here as always when you replace any component you want to check for shorts so we're going to check the memory rail 40 ohms the card is still a little warm so that's perfectly normal 1.8 volts no short um if anyone wonders why i'm one measuring 1.8 volts it's because the modules all have a 1.8 volt feed in each corner so if we've messed up anything over there it should show here since we don't have a short we can assume this is safe to plug once again and we'll test it okay so here's the card it's now closed up we did a preliminary test and we did a quick check on the memory looks like the installation went smoothly the card's now ready for testing so we'll boot it up together take it all the way to windows let it install its driver and see if we have any further problems Right, so it's installed its driver now. Everything looks like it's working fine. The models are looking amazing, as you can tell, no fan spin yet, and we've just got it. Okay, well, we'll leave this on test now for some time, and we'll come back in about an hour and see how it's holding up. Right, so it's just under an hour now, coming up on the card, um, performance hasn't changed or even flinched within the last hour. Um, the card successfully repaired. We will move it across to our high-end gaming rig and put it under proper game testing. Thank you very much for watching this repair video. If you're looking to have your device repaired and you want to send it in, you can contact us via our eBay page or via our website at bhawkgaming.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.